So I will be answering your questions and addressing your topics that you sent to me via Twitter. And I'm going to try and make this a longer video, but I guess that's kind of a ridiculous thing to say. Because if it's a longer video, uh, you'll know. Because there's actually an indicator that tells you how long the video is. Fun fact, on the bottom of the video. Uh, just leave a like for that little tidbit of information you probably didn't know. Uh, so anywho, going to get into these. And uh, if you enjoy these longer videos, uh, let me know. So let's go! And uh, I am going to try and get through a lot of these, but even doing a long video, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get through the rest of them. may have to make another vid. So, get mad now. Have you ever heard of Woody's site called Huppet Gaming? Uh, yes, I have. I was around at that site's conception uh, when Woody first thought of the idea, or maybe not when he first thought of the idea, but when uh, it was really getting started. And I made an account there, and I signed in a couple times uh, in the first couple weeks, but I really I haven't signed in in like a year and a half. Like I, just, I don't really use it, uh, ma ma mainly because I really don't have problems getting people together for games. If I want to get people together for a game, I can do that. I'll just tweet, or usually it's really easy to get people to play with me because I'm totally internet famous, you know, and it's just a privilege for everyone who can be there to just bask in the glory of my presence. Uh, even online, you know, if they were in my presence physically, it would be one of those Ark of the Covenant scenarios where their faces would just literally melt off. Uh, they couldn't handle it, but that's the next best thing that they can handle, as you mortals uh, tend to do or not be able to do, is uh, behold my glory and not just fall as a withering husk, just like Moses or whoever the hell from the Bible days. Okay, anyway, didn't even answer your question. So, Lost Hour, what is your opinion on this year's presidential election? I have answered that so many times. Uh, so I'm not going to address that. Um, Niva88, topic memes. Um, I don't really know what people mean by memes. Like, it seems like most, quote, memes nowadays are just kind of image macros with, like, like, a stock photo with just text on it, and that's kind of been understood now as a meme. But I don't, I don't really know. Some of them are funny. Some of them are really, really stupid. Like, uh, I think that the, uh, what's, what's a funny one? What's a funny little image macro? I, I don't know. Well, most of them, now that I'm really trying to think of a funny one, they are all pretty freaking retarded. Uh, but every once in a while you stumble across a, a good one that makes you giggle a little bit, but I've never actually run into one of those comedy memes that made me do anything more than, like, raise an eyebrow and smirk. Like, they're just, they're that level of funny, you know? Uh, but I have nothing against them. Go hog wild if that's your thing. I don't know. Kevin Wilson 94, do a Dumbledore versus Gandalf debate. Um... A solo debate, that's interesting. But, uh, I mean, wouldn't that be great if they asked you, if they asked questions like that and made p politicians debate uh, just ridiculously absurd things like this? They would ask them about, like, the economy and about, like, birth control or something that is big in the U.S. right now. And then out of nowhere, just out of left field, they'll just ask something like Gandalf versus the Balrog or Gandalf versus Dumbledore or some bullshit like that. And then they have to, on the spot, come up with an answer to it. Because then, I think that would help because then people could really understand more the personality of the person who they're electing, you know, because I feel like someone like Rick Santorum or Mitt Romney, they wouldn't even be able to, like, run with a joke, you know, they would, like, get offended by it or something, but at the same time, I don't know, I really don't know any politician that seems like they would be, you know, a cool enough dude to answer that question without being like, oh, this is silly, we're wasting public discourse time, we, this would be better spent talking about women's vaginas and how I should be in them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that came out differently than how I intended. Okay, uh, Tuts45, describe your perfect college party. Um... I guess the perfect college party would be, hmm, I don't know, uh, I guess that little co word college is meant, like, I should talk about, like, a bar or a frat or something, but screw that, I can just say that I'm in college at this party, I want one of those parties that's, like, on par with the Sweet 16 ones that the girls get, where, like, they get a huge procession of limos and Hummer stretch like hot tub machine just awesome awesome cars and they like get to ride a camel inside and everybody's like standing around them treating them like they're the the king of you know persia at persia what the hell am i talking about i don't know uh but just treating them like their lordship and they're you know they're like a they're like a fief or like not a fief uh, a little surf and you're the king or something like that and it makes you i bet it would make you feel really really just superior and awesome and hey maybe that's a super petty party for me to want but guess what during those parties they always get like fifteen thousand or twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff so Call me crazy, but that's the kind of party I want, son. I want one where I'm just pampered, like a little 16-year-old American rich girl. It'd be fantastic. I'd love it. Uh, and you guys could all come, I guess, if you're in college, because you did preface that this would have to be a college party. So, uh, although, you know, just in the spirit of the Sweet 16 thing, I would want a good deal of 16-year-old girls there. You know, call me crazy. Is that creepy? I don't know. I don't think it is. Um, Red Blood Sierra, White Boys Video, um... 
I don't really know what you what video you're talking about. I don't really I don't watch white boys videos very often or anything like that. Like I don't really watch very many YouTubers at all, you know. And, and if it's like a tip and trick video, it's pretty much guaranteed I'm not going to watch it because I just don't use tips and tricks and stuff like that. Uh, I, I I'm not 100% sure. I know white boy doesn't do mostly tips and tricks or even you know like a decent amount of or I really don't even know. I, I'm not going to pretend I don't really follow white boys channel that much. So if you know this video that uh, Red Blood Sierra is referring to, let me know in the comment section because I'm always down to you know not participate, but, you know, view from a distance other people's internet uh, endeavors and their drama, because that's funny. So, let me know. Um, the Poning Pie, your opinion on the iPhone 5, uh, I really don't have an opinion on it. It looks to be the iPhone 4S with a bigger screen, and it's just, I don't know, I, I can see both sides, because it seems like on one hand, everybody is kind of frustrated and like, this iPhone doesn't have as many new features as we thought it would. Blah, 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 like, bitching about it. But, like, and that's reasonable because it's like, we know that iPhone or Apple could conceivably release a way more high-tech, better phone. There's no way that, like, the, the second they came up with the uh, ability, the technological ability and the manufacturing capabilities to make this phone with a bigger screen, it's not like as soon as they got, they got that capability, they're like, oh, shit, we got to get this to the consumer. Like, they already have, like, everything planned up to, like, the iPhone 12, you know? It's just silliness that they're just, you know, so slowly releasing these updates. But at the same time, it's like 20 years ago, people didn't even have cell phones. And now we're like, we're so, you know, obsessed and we just have to have the best and the just most fantastic and make making your life easier in every conceivable way, like magic machine. Like we get mad if we don't have that little magic tool that can do every conceivable little task that we have in our daily lives. Like it's just like there's a, there's a middle ground to be had there. So I don't necessarily fault people for bitching about it, but I also... Uh, kind of fault people for not, you know, being real and kind of, you know, just take a step back and realize how ridiculous it is that we have this in the first place, you know. Uh, but that's all I have to say about it, you know. Um, Little Shade 19, what are your views on gun control? Um, I wish that guns weren't such a huge part of our culture here in the U.S., but it's too late now. You can't do anything about it. It's not like you can go... I mean, it's that same line again. If you make guns illegal, it'll just take the guns out of law-abiding citizens, you know, that's all that's going to happen, and it's way too late in the U.S.'s life uh, for us to try and make a giant change in that regard. Um, Xenon Hoji, what do you think of Childish Gambino? Uh, I am actually not familiar with that, maybe, I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about, so if you're watching this video, Mr. Hoji, or Xenon Hoji, leave a comment, maybe I'll see it, because I have no idea what a Childish Gambino is. Um, Ali, 04, me, what is the meaning of life to you? Um, I don't know. It changes all the time, really. I mean, it today, my life meaning was I had to get some reading done for this Alexander the Great online course, and I had to do some uh, neuroscience homework and make a video. That was my life meaning today. I didn't necessarily have to make a video. I didn't, like, no one was holding the gun to my head, but, you know, I kind of created the meaning for the day as it happened, you know? I, I needed to get something done, so that was my meaning. It's That may sound petty or something, but, yeah, as, as situations change, your meaning changes. But if you're asking if I have some overarching, encompassing archetype on which I base, you know, my life, and I have a meaning, I don't have that, no. Uh, maybe it would, you know, fulfill me if I did, but I don't think so. I feel like it would be constraining to have uh, a meaning of life that I felt like, like, almost like a video game, that I would be a failure if I didn't achieve this, uh, I don't know, set of tenets or something like that. Uh, so, no, I, I, I wish I had a better answer than that, something concrete, but I don't. Uh, when I do figure out the meaning of life, though, I've been working a lot on it, uh, a lot of research late at night, a lot of really advanced maths and, like, long division and multiplication. Uh, I'll, I'll have it figured out soon enough, so I'll let you know. Um, Simon of the Doyle. I doubt you'll read this. Oh, well, that's silly because I'm reading it right now. Uh, but you should try and get on PKA more, and what do you want to do after college? Um... After college, I'll most likely get a job in marketing or something like that. I would like to someday come back to school and get my PhD in something, or maybe uh, an MD even. I don't know. I, or probably never an MD. That's just too expensive. But getting a PhD in something would be would be pretty cool eventually. But it's all just about what's available in the job market. This is just a shitty, shitty time to come out of college. Uh, but as far as PKA goes, you know, when they offer, I accept. That's the end of that tale. Um... God in a clown suit. Skid marks in your underwear. Good topic suggestion. Good topic suggestion, sir. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, uh, and you know, you can you can hate on me all you want, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna come out against skid marks. I am against them. I don't think that they are a good thing, and I think it's despicable that Obama's in favor of them. You know, I think that's a bad thing. You know, I don't know. 
Uh, no. Um, I, I mean, what, what do you want me to talk about, man? I mean, yeah, skid marks. No, not a, not a good thing. Not a good thing. Next topic. Um, if you were char- if you were to change one thing about anything, what would it be and why? Um, from the fallen five eight five. One thing about anything. Um, hmm. I would make it so that. It was a law that the public consumption of bananas shall be limited to attractive women under the age of 40. The punishment for consuming a banana in public as a male uh, is to have a finger removed, cut off with a very sharp scythe. We're going old school Hammurabi, you know, Hammurabi code laws. We're, we're going back to the day. They, they worked, and we're going back to them, you know. Uh, and so that's, that's my answer, probably. I don't know, you know. And uh, men could not eat bananas in public, and if a woman was not deemed attractive enough to be consuming a banana in public, her banana would be removed and given to the most attractive woman uh, in eye shot. And I think that would really just make society a better place as a whole. You know, I call me crazy, but that's the big thing I want to change in life. Um, false religion. What would be your favorite way to die? Um, well, Mr. Religion, uh, I don't know if I would even have a favorite way to die. Um, God, I mean, I haven't, uh, I I know I should really look into it more, but I haven't actually died yet. I should really get into it and try and experience it, so I have more to say on the subject, but I have not died yet, and until I do, I'm not going to talk about my favorite ways of dying, because that just seems hypocritical, you know, I want to wait until I've experienced it, then I'll get back to you. Um, that could be a while, or it could be, you know, tonight, when I leave my apartment and I get hit by a drunk driver, you know, walking home from a bar or something, who knows, you know? Uh, so that information could be getting back to you quickly, or it could take a while, I apologize. Um... DJ Heels, talk about topics and questions. Oh, you sly rap scallion, you. Um, well, topics are ideas that are proposed to me via Twitter, and I then take those and attempt haphazardly and on the spot to come up with something mildly entertaining to say about it, uh, whereas the questions are more pointed, and it gives me the ability to not be as nervous about what to say because I can just kind of make shit up, and people don't seem to mind about anything. But then again, I can make shit up about the topics, too. It's fine. I have great subscribers. It's all good. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I have to say about topics and questions. And another thing I want to say about it is, um, yeah, come up with a better one than that, sir. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. Uh, <laughs> Duncan the Harvey. Can I knight you, sir, Mirka of Durka? You cannot, um, because you, sir, cannot knight me. You don't have that authority. Uh, I think it's despicable you would even feign that authority on the internet. Uh, really, really gross. Um, but... Uh, I'm not of Durka, you know, Mirka Durka is actually this made-up thing for my online personality, and uh, Durka is not a place. I'm not like Mirka of Durka. It was just a stupid name that if I could go back, I would not have made it my moniker online uh, because it's just so stupid. But uh, if you want to refer to me as that, go hog wild. That's your, that's your prerogative. But, uh, you know, I, I'm questioning your ability to legally... Night me, you know, not, I'm not questioning the intention, you know, that I'm, I'm sure it's the intent, like this thought that counts, but gonna have to question your authority all right uh jesus christ lots of people want to know about the iphone 5 i don't man i guess that's way bigger of a deal than i thought yeah i think it came out today didn't it maybe yesterday the day before i I really have no idea i don't think i'm gonna get another phone just until this iphone 4s breaks but even now it's just it's it i don't know what the problem is with my phone because i haven't dropped it i haven't done anything to it it just it just doesn't work sometimes. It's just I'll get texts like a day later and I'll get calls coming in at like three or like missed calls, that little notification saying like d- dinging up at like 3.15 in the morning and it'll be saying that I missed a call from 5.30, you know, that previous evening. Like it's just silliness. V- just silliness, I say. Uh, and I can't imagine anything less interesting than hearing somebody rant about their phone that's barely miss like malfunctioning at all. Another example of me you know, being just like the people who are bitching about the iPhone that I was complaining about like 11 minutes ago. So, all right. Um, it's Morris Gang. Wants me to talk about college life. Uh, I like it. Uh, the biggest thing that if you're not in university or college that you'll find as soon as you get there is just the incredible explosion of freedom. Just all the things that you can suddenly do and you just don't even realize how constrained your life is as a high school student until you get to college and you start to have so many more opportunities to exercise your own, uh, you know, your own... You, your own will, so to speak. Saying exercise your own will, even that's what I kind of wanted to say. Like that, that sounds like exercising your own will, like you're taking over some samurai teaching store. I have no idea. Lost myself on that one. Uh, so just disregard that. Pretend I didn't say it. Uh, use one of those things from... from. Uh, oh, no, if I could change one thing about the world going back, I would... That made me think of it. I would want that thing that you can use at Men in Black, that you can just erase people's memories. So every time I said something stupid, I could just go... Bada! And then everything's erased. Not sure if it works online. 
Uh, if it did work online, that would be horrifying. I would upload a video every day of that thing where your memory's erased, and then I would just upload that sensation. Just they're not sensation. That just me pointing that little thing at the camera and boop, and I could upload the same video every day, deleted at night, and then people would just not even know that it was just old content. They would just be looking at ads for nothing. God damn, that's my idea, sir. Uh, but I guess my, I already said what I wanted, and that was like 10 questions ago, so I can't go back. But uh, college life is good. That's what I meant to say. All right, next question. Uh, Billy X, or Billy X, yeah, Billy YYX. What is the edge of space, or what is at the edge of space? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I would assume that it's just, you know, just falls off. It's just a flat thing, and then you just kind of can fall off the edge, Christopher Columbus style, uh, or something like that. But that's what I assume. That's my scientific wager in that regard. Uh, but seriously, I, I have no idea. Probably more space or less space or nothingness. Can nothingness exist? I don't know. It's strange. It's an interesting, interesting thought because we're just not wired to comprehend or to understand uh, the concept of infinity as, at all, you know? Not even a little. So, all right. Egbert Brandon, what is your favorite cereal? Um... I never eat cereal, like, like never, uh, never, 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 never eat cereal, uh, but, I mean, Chips Ahoy is pretty good, uh, or not Chips Ahoy, what's the, what's the, the cookie one, I don't even know, cookies and, crunch. I, see, that's how little I eat cereal, the one that I really like, the one that's the little cookies, I can't even remember what it's called, uh, peanut butter puffs are good as well, or Reese's puffs, uh, except for the fact that after, like, 10 seconds in water, if you just get a soupy, watery, awful, kind of peanut butter tasting mushy mess and that's not very fun uh, but I think what takes the cake would have to be cinnamon toast crunch and the reason is because I don't know I have no idea I haven't had that cereal in like five years but last time I had it I recall it being pretty good so there you go there's my answer sorry I'm not more versed in my cereal um, Kevin Detrain miss what is your reaction to Gangnam Style uh I mean, I thought it was really, really funny, but I made that same mistake I do with every video that I think is really funny, and I watched it a ton in, like, two days, and now I'm kind of tired of it, you know? And uh, even worse is, like, all just the obsession about it. It's so crazy. Like, it's, it's funny. It's a really funny video and everything, but uh, so, I, I, I've seen quite a few parody videos of it that are just taking it too far uh, and just being kind of ridiculous. But that's fine. I mean, there are parody videos about every song out there, and it's naturally going to happen, especially with a song that's this, that's this huge, you know, because it exploded faster than any other video in Internet history, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but, yeah, song was really catchy, but I, it was the video that I liked way more than the song. I guess the song isn't that great. It's just the video, the dancing that I like. Uh, but just watch the video too much, and I ruined it for myself. So don't be foolish. Don't be a damn fool like me. Ration your Gangnam Style consumption. You know, that should be a PSA, uh, I think. Um... Bangle Blaine, did you go to your high school prom? Uh, yes, I did. I did go. Uh, ours wasn't called a prom. It was like it was called something else, but it was still like the same basic premise of a big dance that happens with the juniors and seniors. And you ask, uh, or I guess it was different than prom in that regard because it was only juniors and seniors. Uh, I'm pretty sure most schools do like all four years for prom. But I did go to the prom thing that we did at my school. It was all right. But for the most part, it was just a bunch of people sitting around or a bunch of kids dressed up way to the point of just being uncomfortable. Or I should rephrase, a bunch of guys being dressed up to the point of being uncomfortable. And a bunch of girls just had a ton of fun just dolling themselves up. And I mean, most of them look fan fantastic. I'm not you know complaining about that aspect of it. But as far as the, the dance and the, the food went... It was all right. It was all right. You know, it's not like it was a magical evening like you would expect after seeing American Pie or something, but it was all right. Um, Dan Walsh, BWFC, will, be on, will you be on the next PKA? Uh, if Woody asked me, I will. Nuga1, talk about SSRIs and SNRIs or just the pharma industry in general. Um, I don't know that much about the pharma industry, believe it or not, uh, and... I could talk about selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, but I feel like that would be phenomenally boring for everyone else here, you know? <laughs> but uh, basically, I was on some SSRIs for a while. Uh, not all at the same time, but I, I think I've taken Prozac, Paxil, and Wellbutrin, uh, like, over the course of my life. And uh, those are SSRIs. It's the kind of antidepressant pill that this person is questioning about. And I didn't really care for them. They did help me in the short run. But it's just, it messed with my personality. It changed the way I acted in social situations. Like, it just made me feel strange. And I just didn't like it, you know. But that's not that uncommon. It, it will just change your mindset and your neural chemistry and make you feel kind of weird sometimes. But sometimes for uh, a lot of people, that is preferable to the crippling depression and anxiety that they have. So it all just depends on your situation. So if you were asking me, like, about advice for yourself, Good God, do not. Just don't even go on WebMD. Go to a real doctor and get that shit figured out, you know? And even then, be a little bit more hesitant than natural to take the medicine because a lot of doctors get kickbacks uh, if they prescribe you with that. So be wary, sir. 
All right. Um, Woozy X, what do you think about PC gamers? Um, I, I they're, they're people just like you and me, man. I think I'm pretty sure. I mean, some of them tend to have a complex about how great PC is compared to console, which that's fine. PC does have a lot more custom customization potential and all that. Uh, but to each their own. I really, I really, 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 really just don't care. Um, Oran Barry, if you had a chance to make a COD Zombies map, what would it be like? Features, types of zombies, etc. Um, hmm, that's interesting. I feel like I need a lot of thought to put into that. I, I would want it to be a big sprawl out map, kind of like Call of the Dead, except I would definitely want it to not be so dark and dismal. And it's, it's not even because of, like, I mean, I know that the dark dismal can be good for the whole zombie effect and you're you're really enjoying like the whole aesthetic of like oh it's dark and scary and zombies ooh and I know that's the reason they do it but at the same time it's more of a Jesus Christ I can't see through this fog and it's irritating me as opposed to bolstering the feeling of I don't know quote fear you're supposed to get or I don't know uh, but I would definitely make it bright like a, like a Shangri-La level of bright map so that you could really see and enjoy yourself um, or maybe maybe something like Ascension, where it wasn't just sunny out, but it was clear clear that you could see it wasn't difficult. Uh, I would also make it so that the special weapon was the Scavenger, because the Scavenger is awesome, unless I can make a new special weapon. Uh, but I would want the new special weapon to be a sniper too, and just because the Scavenger is the most fun, and sniper rifles are just I don't know, it's just there's there's a special fun aspect of running around with a sniper rifle and killing a ton of zombies with it, because you're not supposed to be able to kill a bunch of zombies with a sniper rifle, you know? It's kind of it feels like you're beating the system and you're being ink just Way more badass than you really are, uh, and the fact that you're even considering yourself badass for a gun you get randomly out of a box in the game is kind of pathetic. But we're moving on. Uh, as far as the features, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's difficult to think about this question because I wish I could take the time to think of other perks or other guns or something like that, uh, which I know I could do given the time. But uh, it's just so so little time right now. But uh, I hope that's a sufficient answer for now, but I guarantee I can come. Maybe I'll, do no maybe I'll do a video about that, talking about what I want, my wish list in Zombies 2, or just talk, and just, you know, ramble on a while about what I want. You know, who cares? If you want that, let me know. If not, and that sounds retarded, tell me, Taylor, that sounds retarded, you goddamn idiot, and, 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 I'll, and I'll get the point. Um, Agent Ahmed, how will the world end? Love ya. Uh, thank you, Ahmed. Um, most likely, I feel like the world is going to end when... World War Three breaks out, or any kind of nukes are just fired like mad all over the world. It's it's gonna happen, you know. There's no way that we're gonna die out when like the sun explodes or some shit, uh, which would be pathetic if we lived here that long and somehow didn't drain all the resources and didn't get off this pathetic planet. Uh, I don't I don't know why I even said that, but I would wager that it's going to be because of some ideological or religious difference between groups of people and it's just going to teeter over someday and it's just going to be a huge chain reaction of allegiances and you know battles and like uh, somewhere in the Middle East most likely with Israel involved they'll get in a huge debacle a big frustrating thing will work out and then the US will stand up behind Israel and then uh, the allies of Israel's opponents will stand up behind them and it'll just be this huge clusterfuck and then we'll all die in a horrible awful death but the rest of us who are surviving afterward in the nuclear apocalypse we can start to collect bottle caps and go around like Fallout. It'll be a great giant uh, cosplay for everyone, and that'll be how we die slowly at the end. But, uh, yeah. Sam Tabner 11, do you like football? Um, I do like football as far as, you know, like watching it with friends and just having a good time in the atmosphere of a football game. But as far as the sport goes, uh, I just, I'm not too into it, you know, not not really my thing, but it's fun to watch with people, it's fun to get into, and because I go to a school that has a pretty big team, it's fun to, you know, rally behind that, but at the end of the day, I really don't m mind that much if we win or lose, as long as I'm having fun watching, uh, ye. Uh, KYJ77, uh, what is your favorite condom brand? Uh, probably... Durex, Durex is good, but also the, uh, skin lifestyle ones, the, uh... I think it's spelled like S-K-Y-N or something like that. Those are good, too. Uh, but as far as condoms go, rule of thumb is they're completely shitty and awful, and they ruin sex in every way, except for the way uh, of not getting the woman pregnant, which uh, is well worth it. So there's my little kind of bad sex ed that I just gave you. So moral of the story, everything I just said was a joke. Wear a condom. Don't be dumb. There you go. All right. Um, well, that's the end of this video. It's been a pretty long one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the procedure. I don't need to remind you. You know damn well what you should be doing, and the fact I have to keep telling you is disappointing. Jesus. Uh, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed, and I love you.